a Fulton worker was killed on the job at the beginning of April. In a story you'll only see on ABC 17 News, we've been covering the death of the 42-year-old man who was killed after getting stuck between a truck and forklift last week. ABC 17 News uncovered three citations issued to Kingdom Projects at the end of June. ABC 17's Deborah Kendrick has been on this story. She joins me tonight. And Deborah, you've confirmed with OSHA that uh, these citations were fixed. Exactly. Marissa, they say they were fixed through proven documentation, but they actually have to physically go to Kingdom Projects to check the citations to make sure they're up to their standards. Believe that he was just crushed between uh, the two, uh, the truck and the uh, forklift, I believe it was. More than three months after a 42-year-old worker was killed at Kingdom Projects in Fulton, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration issued three serious citations at the end of June, leaving the employer with 15 business days to either fix the problem or appeal the citations. Tonight, I confirmed those have been fixed. I spoke with OSHA on the phone today. They told me Kingdom Projects came to recently appeal one of those citations, resulting in citation one that says the place of employment employment should be kept clean to be revoked. That brings down the citation cost from $10,500 to $6,750. OSHA says there is a high probability that they will physically go and check to make sure the fixing of the citations would be up to their standards. I went to Kingdom Projects again today to see if I could get any comment, but I was turned away and was directed any further questions to the president, Dave Phelps, who I was told would not be present for comment. I emailed the organization and I have yet to hear back. Okay, so Deborah, you've been keeping in touch with OSHA on a regular basis for this. And uh, did the organization give you any specific date on when they'd be going back? They have not, Marissa. Typically, these things aren't really planned, but they did tell me that they would definitely be going back to check in, which I will continue, of course, to follow. All right, Deborah, thanks.